Welcome to the Teamwork Monster on the Podcast Show. It's episode 87 for the 5th of January, 2013. Hi everybody, here is Christian from TeamworkCast.com And welcome to the podcast show! Uh, I am here with my awesome, awesome, awesome hunters, which I would like to introduce you, uh, to you very briefly. We have on the stairs, stumping angrily with his foot, Shepard. I thought I wasn't invited. Shepard, and, and that meal you... is, is not vegan. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa! I demand well, a vegan meal. It's the world of Monster Hunter. What do you expect? You're wearing a huge hammer made out of the bone of an animal. I think we're forgetting the brain is made out of 98% whey. Oh, I can eat brain. Mm. But only brain. Oh. oh. <laughs> only brain? <laughs> only brain. I'm a brain. Brain is vegan, right? Brain's vegan. Uh, uh, yeah, your brain, because your brain's made of straw. I've merged with bacon and become bacon putty. Delicious. <laughs> 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 Delicious and fun for the family. Yay! Uh, yes, uh, star starring in the role of Putty, we have Nick. How are you doing, Nick? Uh, I I'm doing okay. I've been playing video games all day hey, back. and all week. And so I'm playing video games, which is nice. I don't get to do that often. That's that's a really, really great way uh, of wasting away your life. And indeed, in the name of in the role of Bacon nowadays... Today is uh, uh, we have uh, Maxella. Eat me. And so, my wife, how are I you will. doing? How have you been this week? Uh, I'm in the role of your wife, indeed, and I'm looking fabulous. Nice. I'm looking fabulous in this jaggy. I was, I was like, really re recently appreciating this. I mean, this is a really stylish outfit for a, for a woman. I feel <laughs> like like it's formal. It's not too revealing. It's uh, but it's you know it's it's well tailored. I really like this. I enjoy this. You like it when we look at you. It makes you feel pretty, doesn't it? It's because you are pretty. You're beautiful. You know, you know, beauty is not the only measure by which we should judge a woman. Think about it. Well, let's um, let's list the ways that um, what is the most attractive quality for you in a mate, Christian? Well, now you're talking about you know in a sexual way. Uh, or. Um, as a human, how would you judge your fellow human? They they have to make me laugh. Uh, I I want them to be able to. <laughs> that's 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 a good point. Indeed, <laughs> indeed. My no! women need to be good at Monster Hunter. Oh no, no! I don't. Well, I I respect you guys for 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 being able to to do something I can't do, which is play Monster Hunter. That's understandable. But I wouldn't expect that from my girlfriend, for example. No, she That'd has to horrible. hunt. She must hunt. No, we tried it, and it was it was a weird. It was, was it just like a debacle. Was it just like anger and confusion? Just no, it like was like also. Date. You can, you kind of like uh, maybe we kind of talk about it, but like in a relationship, you kind of want to also want to have like like your place to retreat. You know what I mean? Ooh, yeah. Like this is the place for me, and and there's nothing about of you in here, so this I can have like a break. Are. Girls stay out. Yeah, this is like like my my man cave, my treehouse, you know. Yeah. And you're in, intruding with with your with your womanly ideas, I, which I see. may be right, and but they destroy the illusion that I'm trying to create here. I see that Bacon had the same sort of idea that I had. Which is, what is the goal of this quest anyway? Bacon, we tell have to me. Make an omelet. 
Oh, we, is, is it the egg quest? Yes, yeah, it's an egg quest. Oh, sweet. I was hoping that. Yes, so um, one important event that happened in this week, maybe you, you, dear listeners, haven't realized this. We have a new wonderful website. My teamworkcast.com. Yay! Teamworkcast.com. Uh, Teamworkcast.com. Oh, teamworkcast.com. Teamworkcast. Sounds similar. Sounds similar, but it's something completely different. Uh, yes, indeed. A, a wonderful website. It is not just a directory of our podcasts, it is also a directory of multiple podcasts. Yes. It is of quite a lot of podcasts. of podcasts. It has multiple articulating arms holding various weapons, all meant and to entertain. And, and and let me just count the ways. Let, let's just talk for about the podcast uh, that we feature on on this new website uh, for a brief moment. Today, just recently released uh, a new episode of Hunting with Friends. Yes, Patty, Patty, can you explain something about Hunting with Friends? I never. I, I, I must admit, before we introduced her uh, them to our website, I never actually watched an episode. They are pretty much the only podcast that I know of in English, anyway. That uh, hunts on Monster Hunter Frontier exclusively. Ah. Oh. So I, being very interested in uh, Frontier, and at the behest of many people who are like, hey, you should get them on your channel. And I, mm. I said, you know what? You're right. So I went out and talked to Gravion, who is the, the, the person in charge of it. And uh, he said, okay. So... At the uh, which was kind of nice because he the their podcast was kind of in disarray in that uh-huh. there weren't any playlists and their 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 descriptions were kind of weird so we kind of forced him to to get himself organized which has been great. Ah, oh, that's good. That's good. Yes. Yeah, like, kind of like that's something we noticed with our website. Like having to go through all our old episodes kind of forced us to do uh, some cleaning up as well. It's like organizing your uh, equipment box. Yes. Yes. Get your stuff together. Do people actually like customize how they do that? Uh, it's, it, people that have crippling obsessive compulsive disorder, which I probably have a mild form of, um, will actually completely reset their game if they find themselves in a position where they've accidentally auto sorted their equipment box. Oh, wow. Because they have a very specific order by which they organize their armor, and if that's messed up, they just go from scratch. That's well, it. yeah, I can completely understand. I mean, come on, armor needs to be like organized. Hey, yeah. oh, the main quest is complete. I don't have to. Hey, do... yeah, good job there, Nick. Well, hey, how was I, that? I uh... was carrying one. Uh, mm? Are you carrying yourself in the cave mining? <laughs> what are you talking about? Man? There, I didn't see you. No, you are. Um, no, but but seriously, like like hunting with friends is really really interesting. I, I started, of course, looking now on the on the episodes, and they're really really good. Um, some some really great chemistry between the um, the podcasters, which I, I always re- appreciate a lot, and of course um, it gives us an insight into this world, which you know it's kind of very difficult to get into um, f- um, frontier. It's a scary as, world. Yeah, it's kind of like you have to like apply for like citizenship or fake citizenship. <laughs> it's kind of like it's crazy. So um, so this is, gives you like a very quick um, look into this world, um, very well narrated one. Well, so that's it, great. It, there's going to be like a, a Monster Hunter podcast renaissance, mm, not mm-hmm. only from Trolltimate coming out, but <laughs> I mean, this website is, is really, I mean, if you, if you have the ability to put together yourself, some friends record and, and edit a video, you have a spot. And anybody that's anybody that's going to be looking for a Monster Hunter video, I hope, would be coming there first. Well, you know, we aren't going to let in everybody. There are certain like, quality standards we need kind of to try to hold up. And also kind of like, you know, if you just have one episode up or just, then, you know, there is no... We kind of want, so far at least, we, we put in podcasts which already have like a, a series of episodes. So we can be sure that these are people who are going to continue delivering new content. Um, so and one no, of those is, uh, no camcasts. Don't do that. Yeah, like like we have sort of quality standards, like you know, um, voice quality and and video quality. So we're not really sure exactly, you know, how many people are we're going to let in the pod, um, the um, the website yet. Get in while the getting's um, but, good. 
Get in while we're desperate. Yeah. But yeah, but get get in contact <laughs> with us. So why not? So one one of the per other podcasts that is on there is of course um, My Fair Hunter. Ooh, of course. Yes. The the preeminent podcast. I love I love Roy. Yeah, man. Like, uh, we've we yeah. Roy hasn't been like really vocal recently because I think he's quite busy. But but he managed to get a podcast on there, and we're really grateful because that's really. I mean, how many podcasts does he have? Like like sixty or or eight or seventy or something? They're nearing a hundred. They're getting there. It's crazy, and you know, so it's, it's like gonna, the entire. It's gonna level out. Like she's gonna master high rank and try, and then Trolltimate's gonna get, come out. She can go right into G rank. Oh man! Yeah, that's that was the idea. Yeah. That would be crazy. So, um, so that looks really, really great, and you can you have like the entire backlog of the entire my friend. You can watch for days now. You can watch months on the podcast for days you know, on this website. Do you know how many hours we have on our podcast list? Too it, many hours. Too many hours. That is correct. Is it a thousand? You know, we've probably been recording for a thousand. But... Oh, definitely. I mean, there's at least a thousand hours of recorded footage of us droning on over something. <laughs> no, come on, thousand is too much. So we have seventy three episodes on the list, right? So this doesn't include like the first eighteen, and I think there might be one or two missing. But uh, it is at eighty seven hours. Mm. That's so yeah. Well, that. so that's much. okay. That's yeah, so, so you have four much. days straight. Yeah. It's it's uh, more than the Lord of the Rings extended trilogy, <laughs> but not with it. the Hobbit. <laughs> so, you know not to get completely off the rails are they going to do an extended version of the hobbit when when they release that out on blu-ray or what have you my understanding is that yes they are because apparently he cut a lot out which is really strange because he's taking like all of the books and everything and assembling this like mammoth movie out of the hobbit so like what did he cut out so strange. He didn't cut anything. He well, yeah, you're right because he he was like working so hard to add stuff. But he actually did cut apparently quite a bit out of the the first movie. Wow. Well, no. But just probably I'm more excited. hanging around eating. Because <laughs> you know who I enjoy in the in the, the Lord of the Rings universe that doesn't ever, no one ever talks about Radagast. Oh well, he's in it, so I enjoy. Know. And he gets to fight the the Lich, which is nice. Oh, that's the, his thing. The necromancer. I'm sorry. He, he's going to end up fighting that on his own? See, they talked about it, but he... Oh, so that's going to be like a separate side story arc then. Yeah. Cool. I like that. Oh, man, you guys are, are nerding out so much. Oh, yeah, right okay. Yeah, we should probably knock that out. Nerding! No, out. it's okay. It's okay. We've been nerding out on this podcast before. Speaking and... of nerds, uh, my, my brother finally got me into a game, and I know Nick has been asking for a very long time about it uh, for Idol us Master? to try. Uh, it's it's called yeah Radagasker Craft where you play as a little uh, brown wi- Radagast play as a brown wizard and you ride around with a bunch of rats. Um, I've never heard about this. No, it's um, League of Legends. I, I played it. Uh. Uh, what a, what an interesting game that is. Yeah. Oh man, I need to. I, did you get in on the Dota two? Mm, I did get in the beta, but I'll tell you, the, the Dota 2 is nowhere near as entertaining, to me at least, as League of Legends. League of Legends just has a little bit, you know, I don't know whether it's the art style or the clickiness of it. They, like, kind of get that uh, that polish down that I don't think Dota 2 has yet. And yeah. maybe Dota 2 will have it. Um, but it's interesting where, if you're into competitive esports, I guess League of Legends is where it's at. Yeah, League of Legends is the king of all esports right now. Yeah, that's that's hmm. the big money, and I I find that very interesting. That you know, uh, presumably if if somebody can afford to give away like literally millions of dollars, um, the game's probably doing all right. <laughs> um, and so I'm going to be getting into that over the next couple weeks. I've only played it for maybe three or four days, but um, See, I guess my brother's played it for straight. a while. <laughs> yeah, not so. I did stay up much later, and I made I went to work very tired a couple of days because of it. But <laughs> so that's why we haven't heard about so much about you. So so that's what you did. You cured your addiction of XCOM with League of Legends. Uh, I just I go from one drug to the next. I mean, yeah, that, that's, right that's like yeah, co- cocaine, heroin, like LSD, like like throwing everything into the mix and then see what what sticks. Yeah, well, I'll tell you the XCOM game. That's that's wonderful too. I mean. uh Iron Man Impossible. What a what a good challenge that would be for the new year. 
Not well, that maybe I want something to do for it. the podcast. Well, uh, I'm talking about this a lot recently, Shepard. I don't know. Uh, yeah, so I don't know if we want to give anything away. Maybe, maybe, maybe. kind of go back in time a little bit. I don't know. Maybe see some old ones. So, so, um, so, yeah. Um, I I want to just just briefly mention because um, to finish up like all the podcasts we have on the website to come back to this topic, um, we of course also have this thing all the wonderful things that Iceman has been doing recently. So um, Iceman has provided uh, the backlog, the catalog of the Casual Hunters podcast, uh, which I guess is no longer continuing. But you know they have like twenty episodes or on there or so. Is it twenty? Yeah, we need to uh, we need to reassemble them. Maybe have. Yeah, man. I I really want to have maybe now. a uh, a Neptune's Pride versus uh, another <laughs> versus another oh, podcast man. so that we can get some like actual animosity going. Like, do you remember <laughs> when you stabbed us in the back? You stupid casual hunters! It, it's gonna dis- it's gonna destroy uh, the entire Monster Hunter community. <laughs> there will be wars about this. You you try to bring people together, Nick, but in, in reality, you're doing quite the opposite with Neptune Sprite. You you know how Neptune Sprite is. It yes. destroys you. It destroys kills it's, you emotionally. It's worse than Mario Party. No, nothing's this. really worse yeah. than Mario Party. Yes. No, no, you have no idea, Shepard. I, I have friends you have never that played, have not you, talked to me since I uh, since I trolled them in the most amazing way possible. Oh God, <laughs> Shepard, you never There's, played Neptune Sprite, haven't you? You I played, haven't. I haven't played. You, it. you played the zombie game with us that they made. Oh, uh, that wasn't so good. I thought. I didn't. Yeah, I wasn't a big fan of the game at all. Hmm. Neptune Sprite is crazy. It's it's like a very simple space colonization game. Like you know, you send ships back and forth. Yeah. But for some reason, because maybe it's because so bare bones, it becomes like this super important thing. Well, it's based on uh, diplomacy. I mean, diplomacy yeah. is one of those like classic Ooh, games without rules. Yeah. Yeah, your friends will hate you after a good game of diplomacy. Yeah, and and yeah. and so imagine playing like a game of diplomacy for weeks yeah. without ending it. Well, ever. Dipl- diplomacy is a great game to teach people about game theory, which I'm all about. Yeah, and this isn't video game theory. This yeah. is game theory. This is like you know, you need to make a decision. It could be a good one. It could be a bad one. Here's the best way to screw someone over and make yourself uh, profit in the process. I guess. <laughs> Um, you know, it's, prisoner's dilemma and things like yeah, that. Yeah, I was gonna say it's a constant reapplication of the prisoner's dilemma. Yeah, um, which if you know people that are unaware, uh, the the one piece of information you can never know in, in uh, the prisoner's dilemma is is the end of the negotiations. Once you know what the last turn is going to be in diplomacy, everything is yeah. off the rails. You basically are forced to start, you know, betraying people at that point. That's the secret. Yeah. Because there is no tomorrow. There's no tomorrow. I mean, yeah. you know, you always want to make sure you betray someone before they betray you. And if you all know the end, well, you say, well, I'll betray a turn before the end. And like, well, maybe the person will betray the day before the day before the end. And it just goes all the way back until, all right, well, everyone's done except for me. <laughs> is there a Crystal Bones subquest in this? Yeah. Okay. It seems like because I'm getting Crystal Bones. Nope. No. You just get them for the money. Slay six right. Aptanoth. Aptanoth. Guess I'm off to the desert. So so wait a minute. So what I want to say? Uh, yes. So so as I said, Iceman is uh, has the Casual Hunters podcast and um, and uh, some of the videos he's been doing himself on the website, which is also pretty 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 awesome. Especially if you want to have a preview of Monster Hunter Three Ultimate comic. Yeah, box. you know he uh, he recently previewed the um, the online store in there or the oh, online yes. stuff in there i was really excited for that actually i stopped doing whatever it was we were doing oh we were hunting in monster hunter freedom unite can you explain this nick I, i'm i this is the first time hearing of it uh store in not, not store i i used the wrong word you have to the online fun the, i the was hoping there was going to be dlc and, and, and everything uh, in my body started to tingle yeah you started playing league of legends and now you're like i need to buy a new outfit for my <laughs> i need to spend a hundred dollars <laughs> on skins yeah I need they're to... already rewiring the way you think they haven't you noticed they already have you they their tentacles are already in your neurons so yeah. I, I, I have a question people on one of our videos were saying that uh-huh. we need to get monster hunter sketch on uh 
Oh, so people channel? can draw, uh, can draw like, no, uh, like swastikas? No, apparently this is a guy that has a long playthrough of Freedom oh. Unite. But, like, I've been looking oh. for him, and I can't find this person's channel anywhere. Does anyone have a link to this channel somewhere? Get in contact with us, post the answer as a, as a comment on this video. We need the answer right now. Yes, yes. So another feature of the website, guys. You are excited as much as I am. Hunting parties. Ooh, I love it. We Sorry. are using the hunting. Need guys, to drop out we are thirty minutes before. What? Goodbye. Oh yeah, yeah. That happens a lot, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. So that's what something one what we want to discuss. But first, what what are hunting parties? Well, it's a way for you to schedule. Like a meeting, like an online meeting with random people to play Monster Hunter. Because the, the problem is that we had we saw that people were posting this kind of posts on Facebook, for example, saying like something like, "Guys, I'm like in Valor One Two Two or something. I need help with this uh, Barrier quest or something." And it was like always like, "Yeah, that that was two days ago." So you know obviously this person is no longer there and it was like this this very you know like shouting into 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 the ocean you know like this very desperate kind of way of of trying to team up with people so we developed this system where you can schedule ahead and uh, you know a hunting party uh, and say you know in tomorrow at 10 i will be here and i will be needing help and so that's basically what you can do yeah, it's been. Uh, I've seen a lot of people have a real, lot of really good experience with it, with it. Yes, 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 indeed. It it works really well. The the thing that I was a little bit disappointed, but um, uh, about something that's happening, where I'm gonna we're gonna discuss a little bit. But the thing that really was for me like this this um, like cathartic moment where I said yes, it's working, as in, as intended, was the dead hunting party. Oh, I know. They're, they're having that was the second so dead hunting party but very soon. They, they're continuing this. So yeah, we have like this, this hunter wagon. I wrote this down. I have notes for this, this episode. It's Cle- isn't this amazing? Clem Beck. Is it, isn't it? Clem BK. Yes, Clem BK, indeed. And he, he, wrote, he issued like shortly before we, we started, after we started the system, he said, if you're a dad, you know, gaming time happens after you put your young one to bed. Any other dads that play Monster Hunter? And of course, immediately, like, like, like two or three people uh, showed up who were either dads or at least married. And, and uh, they joined him on this very late night quest in Monster Hunter. And that that's I thought you know exactly you know this kind of people we wanted to kind of provide a service for this kind of people somebody who maybe is working a lot or somebody who just can has like the specific time window where they can play and they want to make sure that when they go online they will be able to complete their quests do we have any way to track statistics of these hunting parties like how often they happen how many people are in them how many go off without a hitch anything like that Ooh. We have um, the possibility, but we don't have the functionality right now. No, but we we're not tracking pro- you yet. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> but we will eventually. I'm just so curious. Th- that's kind of know? hard. That's wonderful. Y- Nick, you and me, we had we had some hunting parties this week. We tried the system yes. ourselves. We were getting high on our own supply. Yeah. <laughs> it's gotten to <laughs> Guys, the point where I'm like, to do I gotta take a few steps back. I'm hunting too much. Dear God. <laughs> So do you, do you want to do you want to hear the story of my first hunting party on our system? All right, yes, let's hear it. So so three guys joined. Uh, like a couple of minutes before start, one guy dropped out. So we, I, I was I was left with two other guys. One guy just never showed up, and the the final guy, the only guy who ever showed up. Turns out he wasn't G rank, <laughs> <laughs> and I, I said like specifically like I wanted I wanted to do G rank Monster Hunter Freedom Unite quest, and he showed up and wasn't G rank, and he's like, "Sup, I'm I'm here," and so I was like, "Okay, well, well let's do other Monster Hunter Freedom Unite quests," and then there were like constantly like connection errors. So he had to download, like, because he didn't do it yet, he had to download, like, um, Japanese um, uh, ad hoc party. So, you know, one hour in, we finally get started and everything. And then, like, every quest we did, we failed. 
<laughs> oh, man. Every single one quest we did before. Oh, I was like, man. I was like crushed afterwards, like spiritually crushed. I was like, oh man. <laughs> this isn't going to work out. I hate this system. <laughs> this is the worst. <laughs> I, I spent like one over one one month of full time work on this website, and and this is what 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 the result is. Oh my gosh! And it what you know it wasn't just you know it was like it was just like this un- unfortunate series of events that led to this. Yeah, yeah. I'm getting the frog. Quick. Okay, good. Uh, the thing that I was curious about because like that sort of happened to me today. I had somebody sign up for the hunting party, which, you know, I'm excited. Sign up for the hunting party. That's cool. And then yeah. immediately upon joining the Skype call, they're like, I don't have a PlayStation 3, so I can't join you. <laughs> I'm like, why did you sign up for the party? Why? Why would you do this? Why couldn't you just be like, hey, can I join you guys oh. to sit and talk to you? I'm like, yeah, sure. That'd be cool. He spotted me. Uh, He'll still what, eat, though, what, right? what, what, eat. what are we gathering here? I don't know. I was party. waiting for Christian and Nick. Oh no! Oh. He he's gonna. Eat. He's he's hungry. We're we're here. It's okay. Hooray. Yeah. So there. So so there. Here's a here's a, because also like on the I had, I had like two contact party afterwards. So we're much better. But still, there was even like always this one hunter who I know I, I wrote in. Please do you have. Please make sure you have Skype. And then he appears and he has no Skype. Yeah, it, the Skype thing. I'm like, okay, you know, some parents don't want their kids to have Skype yeah. and all of that stuff. That's totally fine. Just, just, just let us know. Yeah, just let 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 know ahead. You know, if if you're not able to participate, quit early so maybe another person can join in. You know, like if I had kids, I would be like, "You're how old? You're you're twelve? No, you can't talk to some thirty year old guy (laughs) playing monster hunter. Some strange man from Germany (laughs) who wants to hunt monsters with you? What? Well, not only that. Like a lot of them don't have a computer. Have to share the computer with like siblings and 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 you know maybe their parents, and they won't be able to to access the computer. Or while they the fighting, or maybe the TV is going to no, no, not really sure if the TV is going to be free or something. So, um, so that's that's fine. I mean, it, it happens. Just you know, let us know in advance so we can plan, so we can reschedule. Love that. Oh noise. Yeah. yeah. Oh yay! There we go again. I love the lantern. Best defense. Uh, yeah, but but uh, there was a, like a like a happy ending on this. I had we had like, actually I had like two really really good hunting parties, really really good. Um, and I would like to give a sh- small shout out to Maxim and Rathlos FTV. Yo, I, I was hunting with Maxim today actually on, on my oh. party. We uh, yeah, Maxim Maxim was cool. He's a cool guy. He ain't afraid of monsters and, and anything. Yeah, it's always nice. Yes, yes. Oh, oh, nice! No. The lantern. Well, he the was, tail is gone. Was what? Like a... So it's the lantern break. It'll never come to us again. Uh, Wait a minute. So, well, so when you cut the tail, thing. the lantern doesn't break anymore? No. <laughs> you, you cut the tail while it was knocked out. Yeah, so he was um, he was knocked out, and so his, hand, his lantern Duke. will drop when he's knocked out. But his, his tail got cut, so it interrupted the, the, the stun. Oh, so now he, he we won't have an opportunity to cut the lantern anymore. Uh, we will, we, we will when he's underwater. Quest, and I, I should be able to knock him out one more time. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm he... like doing horribly right now because I'm so con- concentrated on, on, I don't know, speaking, I guess. I know that feeling. It's not yeah. an easy thing to do, necessarily. <laughs> I, I've been sort of entertained with how well we've managed to become, even though playing and everything. Yeah, <laughs> he says as he falters because he got flashed. Like, he says as he's being paralyzed <laughs> and knocked out by the monster in sequence. <laughs> We're doing great. Tell us more. Oh. We're doing good job, guys. High five. <laughs> oh, knocked into the other zone. So it's actually a good thing. I, I needed to be healed anyways. I, yeah. But you, but you know what I really like about the hunting party system is that um, it kind of also gives us an ability to kind of kind of see what people are really out play, playing. Yeah, you know what I mean, feel it out. And it's kind of it's it's fascinating because I, I I thought much more people would be still playing Freedom Unite or Portable Third. Nah, yeah, it's uh, everyone's still playing Try. Yeah, everybody like the Try hunting parties fill up constantly. There are thousands of them. Well, thousands not, but there are like a lot of them. Uh, and there is like maybe one. Uh, portable third party and it like struggles to fill up. It's because <laughs> of the accessibility. 
Yeah, yeah you have to be um, a pretty big uh, fan to want that. And even then, I mean, the um, enjoyability of the online. Yeah. Yeah. But even also like the free night parties, I saw some free night parties not filling up properly. So there were like not so many. Oh, like, right. maybe... Wow. So the lantern is, is gone? Yep. yep. Yeah, we did it. Sweet. Well done, guys. Excellent. But even for Freedom yes. Unite, you still need a PS3. Yeah, I guess that's a problem. Like, there's a lot of people trying to experiment with Xling Kai, but that's like like this mm. very niche kind of thing that is very difficult to get into. It's funny the uh, the Xling Kai parties have been filling up the yes they are the Monster Hunter tunnel system. Oh yes, uh, there's, there's a party up there, one. and there's two people in there. So Ooh. I'm hoping that they'll get some more soon. So those yes, are maybe. those are filling up better than ad hoc party. Really? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Interesting. No, 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 no. They're not feeling up better than Atrock Party. Oh well, I guess that's true. Yeah, it's it's kind of it's it's kind of the same. You have to keep in mind, like Free Unite is also very like a very old game. Don't yes. forget the tail. Oh, that's true. I I think a new card already. <laughs> Just to make sure. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, like in the hunting party, there was like this most hilarious sequence where new carving paid off. No, <laughs> stop. Finally, my noob don't, carving story. Don't, don't give I'm, people your noob carving story. No, I, 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 this, I, th- I think this has to come come out. I think we need to reveal the truth about noob carving. No. Sometimes no. it is useful, no. guys. No. 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 Hear me no. out. I don't know how, how long, much longer I can podcast. They no. might be cutting me out soon. But, guys, there is this story, all right? We are fi- fighting. We were fighting the Aknactor, right? <laughs> and so I, I concentrated on the tails. I cut the tail. And and I was able to noob carve the tail, and then immediately after the noob carve, my entire party was wiped out, <laughs> like with one swift attack. There was like some freak attack that just wiped out an entire party in one blow, and I was like, "Yes, I noob curved." Mm! I still have my noob curves. <laughs> it was such, it was so rewarding. I'm really dis- disappointed in this. Scrub Nactor? was that what you were fun? I should have recorded this. Oh man, that might be fun. And see, I, I'm not sure if I'd be a huge fan of doing random fights and doing entire episodes on them, but it'd probably be a great chance to stream. Yeah. Oh yes, N- uh, Nick has been doing this actually. Yeah. Uh, I was going to stream today, but then I decided not to huh. because I had been streaming a uh, half minute hero. Oh yes, is is it on a, on our channel? Uh, the second part of it is I went through all of the hero thirty, so. I think I'm going to try and do some of the Princess 30 because, man, I really like Princess episodes. <laughs> you have to be back in two minutes. What? Or in a minute. You can only go outside for a minute. Oh, interesting. Uh, have you played I, Princess 30? Uh, no, I haven't yet. I, I I just saw, I think, like screenshots and I was like completely baffled by what I see. Guys, get him in the trap. Get in the trap. You're, get in you're the trap. Stu- stupid fish. Get in the trap. Come over here. Nice buddy Come dies over here, the gobble. Oh. He's in the trap. Aha. Uh-huh. Is this Probably a Probably have to be kind of careful about um, not killing. killing him. Oh. oh. What do you magic. mean? Magic. Good job. You Nailed did it. it. <laughs> Nailed it. You see, it's a chance, an opportunity for an all-out attack, Maxwell. Aha. Uh-huh. Is this a chance? Oh, uh, Shepard, uh, so you've been playing a lot of Persona recently. I mean, I beat it once. I'm, mm. a, I'm halfway through beating it again. I'm just, I'm just it? living in a gaming renaissance right now. It's like gaming heaven. It's like I died <laughs> and I'm just being like bathed in gaming angels. Yay, got a lantern. <laughs> you, you know what I really realized when, when playing Persona 4? I mean, I haven't played too much of it you yet. You played it like it. one day for like two hours. Yeah, but very intensively, like eight hours. <laughs> that was the most intense two hours of your life. <laughs> But the th- the thing is, like, the more I think about it, uh, I think back to Catherine. Hunting rate yeah. increase. And I realized how much how much this game reminds me of Catherine. Catherine. Well, should. they improved Persona Four using something that they developed in Catherine. In that, in Catherine, whenever you would make a decision at the end of a certain block, that uh-huh. decision would be communicated to all the other players, like in a poll. Well, uh-huh. now whenever you do anything in Persona Four Golden, if you're connected oh, online. Yeah that decision will be shared with all the other players. And so you can kind of yeah. use that to get an idea of, okay, these are the top five things that people do on this day. Maybe I should think which one is the most appropriate for me right now. 
the most funny thing is like on the very first dishes especially like there is like uh, because the earliest editions are like pretty obvious you know you do this do this so you look at the statistics and there's like 95% are doing this 5% are doing this and you can immediately tell these are like the new game plus players they know exactly what they're gonna do oh, yeah. like they're gonna like yeah, yeah. go straight for this character so they're doing like this very bizarre obscure kind of activity that nobody else would think about right that's where I am at right now and uh, yeah Dojima day one done it's actually you can't do it that fast, but uh, you you, right. you do want to you want to max your Dojima really, so you can get around to the other the other social links. So yes, uh, yes. I, I have a, a question that's coming out of the stream people, huh. oh. people's the stream participants. I don't want to call them peoples. Uh, Ice not Man, people. I guess, has been pushing for us to put the IRC channel on. Oh the yeah, page. I'm wondering oh. because I love our IRC. Uh, I sit on like ten different IRC channels all day. Uh, is is this a possibility? Yes, yes. Uh, I I was meant to do this today, but I was like swamped to my taxes, so I wasn't able to complete this. But yes, we are going to put like the link on the web front side because right now socialdistance.com is like forwarding to teamwork, and uh, and so you can't click on the link on of the IRC channel. But I will put it on, on the front page right next to uh, the link to the forums, can, so you can. Can you get a better web? Uh, web interface better web interface yeah you know the when I was experimenting with different IRC web interfaces so many of them were just all out broken and oh. I think that was mostly the issue of, of me not knowing what the best uh, application would be to work with WordPress right yeah um, but certainly Christian is a, a programmingly inclined. He could figure something out. Programmingly inclined. Guys, That's guys, good. you need to figure figure this out. I have no idea how our RSC works. RSC is like this kind of area which I never got into. Well, I have like completely just, no idea what RSC it, is. It, it's, uh, <laughs> you know, you take some string and you run it from your computer to somebody else's computer. And eventually you get them all connected and they can talk to each other. I I know that's the chat room and then that you can create channels, but I just no, it's, it's like literally pe- 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 Yeah, but but it's like why people why are I never used it? I have like, no idea. You need a soup can. A soup first. Can. Yeah, you're just you're just joshing me right now. <laughs> and some straight Nick. <laughs> That's how Nick and I are communicating right now. There's only yeah. one microphone. <laughs> that, that, that explains the voice quality. There's a microphone, oh, and then there's a soup yay. can, and then it's roughly 1,500 miles worth of string going to Texas. Yep. Everything's then, bigger in Texas. <laughs> whenever you say each other's names, the pink the can turns pink. What? Wow. That's, that's an amazing can. This is can a great pink. can. I, and I, it makes this, a little ping sound. Obviously, Noxella is a bit more advanced than us. Yeah, he's but a maybe he's Noxella, a pro maybe Noxella should figure user. out this IRC I think he thing. should be yeah. in charge of this. No, no, I, I haven't <laughs> used IRC uh, yeah, in a yeah, long yeah. time. I've been, uh-huh, but you have used it in the past. That's already more than I did. N- Noxella is a, a mod on some of the channels that I used. To say. Uh, Not at, anymore. At, at, like at the very pro. least, uh, Christian, oh, do we have? We do have. It's a WordPress environment that we we're, we're built the website on, right? No, is it, it's no. custom. Everything, it's super custom. All, all from scratch. Everything. That's is, why it looks made, so good. It's made from dirt. Well, <laughs> oh it's my. not. It's it came it's from not, your brain. No, it's uh, basically I, I used a web framework called uh, Twitter Bootstrap, which is uh, very useful and, and helped a lot. But uh, yes, it is made everything by custom. Oh, well customized. then we may we may need to figure something else out then. I can uh, embed everything that uses HTML. Or yeah. JavaScript or something. There, there's some pretty decent web interfaces out there. I'll send you a link or two to the ones that I know work pretty well. So, how about I just link directly to the web, previous website? Oh, you can do that too. That one, yeah. I like. It was kind of ad ridden, and I think it might have contributed to uh, the current status of socialdissonance.com as blocked on IRC. Yeah, there's something that doesn't work with social distance. Yeah, there, there were too many. On there was only like one ad. I know, but I think it's IRC in general tends to yeah. trip up a lot of these things. Oh, so having an IRC uh, we, we channel to be careful, for YouTube then. makes it angry? Well, I'm not sure. Like, we could never figure it out. It's just that, like, oh, face- only Facebook one. thought that uh, socialdistance.com was a spam site. 
<laughs> yeah, everything. Every time you try to post something from social distance on Facebook, it just not doesn't allow it. Yeah, it was a, so it's a bit of a stumbling block when we were trying to figure out like how to post comments about uh, yeah. the podcasts on Facebook. Yeah, weird. It's it's really something that you should maybe look into, Shepard. I should when probably you try to... contact those Facebook people. Uh, we tried to do that and they didn't believe us or just didn't react to this. I'm not really sure. Yes. Probably, probably don't care. Like the something, thing about something went wrong there for like Facebook and for for Google AdSense is like there's no one that actually works in these sites. They're all just enthusiasts. Yeah. They're just, all, all just yeah, or, or like robots, yeah, or like. This is a form you fill out. The robot says, "Then and, thank you for your <laughs> no, message." We're gonna get. It's sort of like going to Game Facts, where you're like, "Hey guys, I'm having a really hard time with this one particular thing," and somebody's like, "What are you talking about? I did it in like two seconds." Yeah, and it's, it's not like like in Game Facts. There's never like the game developer of the game itself actually showing up telling yeah. you anything. It's all just people who also did this thing, and so they they're helping you. So that's kind of quite convenient for the companies themselves, like to outsource their their user customer service to other customers i have to wonder if there's something to it because like you you gain levels as you help people so i wonder if you gain some sort of benefit on adsense like maybe more payment or something i don't know <laughs> that's crazy <laughs> that's kind of like a super super uh, morally corrupt environment there yeah we're gonna just oh, throw wow. people who have a problem wow I, I have a failure this quest is destroying me. I am bad yeah, at this. Th th that's quite a challenging quest. Who wh who thought that it would be a good idea to fight two of those at the same time? I'm not sure anybody thought it was about a it. good idea. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not worrying at all. Yeah. <laughs> it happened, that's and awesome. now we've got to deal with it. Awesome. <laughs> it's like having a baby, that's... Christian. It happened. <laughs> <laughs> what? So that... Deal with it. Don't worry okay. about it. Is that the analogy you want to make? Oh, that gosh. is the I just did it. I, I, I now, noticed. Now we got to live with it. So, guys, <laughs> it's 2013. How did you spend Sylvester? Like, like, do you call it Sylvester? What? Sylvester? You, you don't call it Sylvester? Ooh. Like, in, in, in Germany, you call New Year's Eve, you call, call it Sylvester. Oh. I guess because it's a name day of Sylvester. I, I have been wa I watched the movie Perfume, the story of a murderer. Okay. Oh man, that's like such a great movie. I love it so much. I, I was pretty. Uh, I, I liked it a lot, actually. It's pretty good, isn't it? Yeah. Do I, you like how they portray smelling? Yeah, I, I really did. I liked the the main character a lot, actually. I thought they did oh, a pretty man. good job on him. This cinematography on, on this movie is amazing. Like the co colors look so vibrant sometimes. Yeah, I, I also like his birth and like oh. how in, it was the grossest thing I think I've ever seen. But it was pretty. <laughs> Oh, I've seen that movie. Yeah, I think I saw that movie like in the theater or something like that. Why would I see that in the theater? It was because it's amazing. Yeah, I, I... you're like totally immersed in this in this in this sensory experience. You're like in the nose of this guy. It, actually, that's how the the one of the scenes like starts. It's like it like the camera moves like from some fields, from some frogs in the pond into the nose of the main character. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like toward the end of that movie when he's tracking the the, the redhead or whatever, I was like, mm. ah, it's kind of gone off in a, a sort of strange tangent, I guess. It is a little bit, and like, but in, in you know, the entire movie I thought was like 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 the Inception movie. It's kind of like an analogy for how creative, how creating something creative works. Yeah. You kind of you kind of get like totally obsessed ab about this, and you're kind of sacrificing so much, but you hope for this kind of like um, how do you call it, um, some kind of like a catharsis at the end, where you create something so amazing that people will will look, um, you know, overlook the what kind of hor horrible person you become because what you created is so amazing that yeah. people love you. I, I like because uh, I first heard about this movie actually. I was reading a book from Zizek. He was talking about mm -hmm. like ideology versus reality, and like mm -hmm. the the reality of achieving something in like ideological mm -hmm. without like legitimate means. It was kind of interesting. Right? But he recommended this movie. He's talking about this movie. I'm like, wow, I need to see this movie. Oh, it's actually a book. It's uh, a, a book too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, so it was. It that was also kind of like a big thing in Germany because it's a German book, and it's a German. Um, oh my god! Oh, jeez, Triple putty death? 
Yeah. Oh, that's never before seen serious. it. You never. You really die once, let alone no, twice, yes. let alone three times. Where, that's usually my. Footage. That's my spot. Where? Uh, I'm just not gonna go into water anymore. Well, this, <laughs> this is my first experience, I think, with uh, underwater. And uh, oh, one of the guys is dead great already. The great yeah, sword. underwater great sword is pretty much the the, the worst time you could ever have. Uh, God, I would it love to see down. some really good underwater uh, Ludroth fights or uh, underwater great sword. Anything, Shepard, you can do this if you complete your let's play. <laughs> no, I can't. <laughs> you know, and that's the really sad thing is like I'm gonna have to have more underwater fighting in just a couple months oh yes i'm looking so forward oh by the way um can you give us a status update of the wii u uh it's on its way to nintendo i guess i don't know i sent it you've got the tracking number right yeah i I got a tracking number but but i thought maybe you heard something else so so right now right now i guess it's 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 due to arrive at nintendo which is like the midpoint of its journey (laughs) Uh, of its not, epic even, journey. not even really the midpoint. I mean, the midpoint is kind of when it gets back to me. Well, I guess, no, I guess, yeah, once it re- reaches Nintendo, that'll be the midpoint, because then it goes back to me and then it goes back to you. Well, um, well I'm a little concerned. Kind of I, I lost the original packing material that you sent over here, so you might have to that pay taxes be... again. What? No, no, the, pa- the, pa- the packing material is no problem. It's just important that that's the. That's what you get from Nintendo back, the, like this receipt, the repair receipt. We, I kind of need that, otherwise I would need to have to pay the taxes. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll make sure yeah. you get that. Yeah, we're gonna figure it out. Yeah. So, so, um, so the perfume was was a um, was a German um, author, and the director of this movie was also a German director called um, what is he called again? Tom Tukwe, who is the yeah. guy who made. Uh, yes, we did this. Awesome. Uh, the guy who did Lola, Run Lola Run, have you guys seen yeah, this movie? Yeah, that's a really good movie. Yeah, it's really oh. great. So that's one of the German independent movies that, that everybody needs to watch. It's just so awesome. It's, it's basically like the train spotting, German train spotting, I would say, without the drugs, I would say. Yeah, Maybe just too a sh- short last comment, Christian. When I went to the yeah. UPS store, the guy was, a, was saying he'd seen like five or six of those come back in the last month. <laughs> Apparently wow. they've done something. They they fixed part of it, didn't they? Like uh, wait, a minute, wait a minute, did you say come back like like being rejected? Uh, no, like people bringing in Wii U's to be sent to Nintendo. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> he said he's seen yes. like five or six in the last month, and that yeah, was just yeah, that yeah, one th- store. So apparently common thing. I'm not. I'm not. It's not as unusual event I, I went through. Well, I hope uh, it will get fixed. I had a scary moment when I tried to update my Wii U. I, mm-hmm. I, all I did was click the update button, and it immediately froze, and the controller started to send out a piercing uh, shriek, like, <laughs> what the what? Wow. And I didn't know what to what? do, so I just, like, left it on for, like, five hours, and when I turned the volume back up for on the Wii five hours? it was still frozen and still screeching, and so at that point, <laughs> I was like, it. What? That's 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 terrifying. <laughs> you're just sitting there. Like if I left the volume on the Wii U pad, it would be screeching for five hours, doing nothing. This I didn't is know. I didn't know what to do. Terrifying. It's like it wasn't. It didn't even begin downloading, and yet I know you're not supposed to unplug it. Um, but it clearly wasn't doing anything. So like, if there was a major problem, like I would have just been done. I, I swear, the Wii U is like the amnesia of game systems. It's like it's like terrifying on a completely different level. <laughs> you, you've it's never like gets you in the guts. Fe- you've ne- you've never had fear like it before. Yeah, <laughs> never. Like no red game. ring, red rings. Just you have no idea what red red ring is. Just baby talk at this point. Yeah. It's like it 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 the th- constant threat of red ring, and also like like the, it's not not just visual, but now it's like audible. Like there's shrieking noises, and there's like weird noises when the thing crashes. It's crazy. <laughs> hey, did you know my Atari still works? Wow, and it works fine. What? And I haven't what had to update that thing in years. Does it need a system which update? No. Yeah. Which which one do you have? Like the uh, 2600? Yeah, I have the 2600. Actually, my Intellivision is still my most played system. How do you know? It Does it, have, does it track the, the hours? Yeah, it tells me when I plug it in. It's like, uh, hey, you know, I've been played more than your GameCube for sure. <laughs> yeah, like, oh, GameCube... Well, GameCube. I, I mean, what did you play on GameCube? Come on. Uh, Double Dash and Animal Crossing. 
Pikmin? And Super Mario Sunshine! Yeah, Super Mario Sunshine. The the most drug-riddled Mario game ever made. I didn't really like it. Is that because I don't do drugs? Get me a durian, and I will hatch from this egg. That is that in the game? That's yes. so bizarre. <laughs> What's a durian? A durian is a type of fruit. It smells really bad, and it's illegal oh, to take one on. It's yeah, the one yeah. you can't pick up, and you have to kick it. Oh god! I, you know, I actually rage quit Mario Sunshine at that level. <laughs> you like, don't I, have to get it though. Yeah, I'm I remember never playing the this again. Ever done? Forget you. Walk toward silence. How come the GameCube? Wait, the GameCube had a handle. Yes. Why? Uh, people carry it around. Yeah, people wanted you to bring it to your friend's house and have fun. Yeah, with that them. was the yeah, idea. Yeah. So, all right. It it, was, it was do as a quick. Well, for instance, I'm carrying my GameCube around by the handle. I still have a whole bunch of cords and stuff I got to bring. Well, so, I'm, I'm, theoretically, had, I'm being a, bra- a bag full of stuff. That they had cases for it where you would carry the case with the, the GameCube handle. <laughs> the GameCube handle would be poking out, and you'd be carrying it like that. Yeah. You know, you know what it is. It's basically like the, you know, like, you know, like the, how there's like, like shampoos for for men now. Like Axe like, body spray. Yeah, and they and they and they and the bottles they have, they are formed like like the handlebar of a motorbike, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I and personally that's, that's use basically the Axe same. body spray and Old Spice deodorant. Please purchase this product. What? We're going to get the ad revenue what? for that, right? They're, they're sponsoring us now. No, no, we get censored because it's a you said. Oh, uh, never mind. Co- copyrighted product. Oh. <laughs> I take it back. You suck. Take it back. <laughs> Everything back. It's okay. Never mind. I don't use oh, any of that. God, stuff. A oh, God, But I would enjoy like yeah. a old old spice commercial with you, Shepard. Oh, I'm on a Raytheon. Look at look at your hand. It's carves. <laughs> it's like, carves. And now, the carves are now Raytheon rubies. Your head. Now it's two. I have two Raytheon heads. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why? I can only do that with the gift Saros. I got three oh. gifts of those heads in one quest once. I seriously did. I got three, and it was the yeah, best got, thing I, ever. I got two ones. Yeah, that was pretty amazing. It's like, Gipsy, I was like, where'd you keep that? Where are you keeping all those heads? It's because he's rubber? He stretches? It, it, like, we're talking about pieces of the head, not the head itself. Yeah. I take it very literally. Maybe he's like, like you know, like, like um, how do you call it? Like, like the people like shrink heads? Like, like you know, the, uh, oh, uh, doctor. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I I was talking to uh, my friend Damon the other day, who we tried really hard to get this whole like this this rumor about what a scoot was going. Oh, we we're, don't do we're, we're, we're talking about it for a long time. What's a scoot? It's oh, the butt know. plate. Yeah. It's the uh, under oh. plate. It's it's the part of the plate that. It's the butt plate. <laughs> yeah, you can see, you can call it. It's near there. It's the butt plate. It, it's it's. Uh, it's the protective sheath for a monster's reproductive organs. Ah, I see. Yeah. Oh, I, I, the, the thing that you always hit when you try to hit the tail. Yeah. So, like, <laughs> I, you, can look, you can see the Raytheon scoot right now on my angle. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's the okay. thing that's protruding. That's the, the scoot. scoot. Uh, so, so, Nexala, you are a biologist. You know how, what the real name for this. Is it a cloaca? Uh, sure. I, I think it's a cloaca in in, in Germany. I'm pretty sure. The, the like birds have this. This like they this, like, they have like because birds, you know, because they're basically birds. So um, so the birds have like like uh, like they. Uh oh. What do you call I'll it? Like you. Poop? Oh, oh hey, good job. I tried hey, to take one for the team. Oh gosh! Oh gosh! Oh gosh! Oh. Ooh. So so birds poop and and reproduce from the same thing. Mm. NP. NP. There's like everything is like in one one channel. Yeah, they that's, have like, that's like a mess. It's like gross. Yeah. They have like the multi card of reproductive organs. <laughs> like everything is everything's one. One console future. <laughs> one console future. The, oh yeah. 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 Uh, did that come out yet? It's coming out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's people have a, it. It's tiny. It's it's like a tiny little cube. It's isn't like it a baby, just like an Android computer? Cube. Like isn't it? Like aren't they selling us like for fifty dollars now? Yeah, that's the idea, at least. 
Hey, 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 Bacon is Shepard. Hey, Patty, hey, don't, hey, don't take me oh, like that. Goodbye. Bacon. Yeah, thanks, guys. You're welcome. Oh, oh. maybe you could, uh... I don't, I don't play with my sound on. Why did you fly away? That's horrible. Well, she's hungry. She wants to I, eat I hate, something. I, I hate when the monsters do that. Well, they they didn't know. They're just like us. They get hungry. Well, I don't fly away when I'm hungry. I, I, Maybe I you should. Catch. Maybe you'd get to their food faster. Maybe. I, but I, do you think that maybe they get like frequent flyer miles or something? I think they are not satisfied with the in-flight meals. Ah, now we got it. Yeah. So they, they always need to land to eat. Yeah. We got this. We got this. Very elaborate explanation. So uh, speaking of Tom Tickler movies, have you guys seen... Um, uh, what's it called? Uh, the new Tom Tickler movie? The, the one he made with the Wachowski guys? No, what is that movie? Something... Uh, Venus? Uh, Cloud, Cloud Atlas. Cloud Atlas? Oh, no, I have not. I've been kind of curious about it just in terms of like... Uh, race and ethnicity in movies? Yeah, you should. That, if if that's true, then you should totally watch it because that's like totally like right on the top. It's the right. movie is all about this and it's doing like a lot of interesting things that some people consider like um, how's it called like brown facing? Is it is that the name? Black facing. Yeah. Black facing. Black facing. Yes, uh, but it's actually the very trying to do the very opposite with the same technique. Uh, speaking of which, I saw a very public photo of your um, uh, Angela Merkel is the uh, prime minister or counselor. Yes. Prime Minister, I guess. Big, big picture of her with a small no, teenage counselor. girl wearing a blackface. What's with that? Why would she do that? She was wearing a blackface? Uh, and Mer- Merkel wasn't, but she was standing right next to a, a high schooler that was. Made oh. me very uncomfortable. Maybe she was just really tan. Yeah. Everybody, you know, uh, It looked like generally... she her face with Sharpie marker. That's what it looked like. <laughs> the Merkel makes everybody in German quite uncomfortable. She herself is uncomfortable to herself if you look at any <laughs> images of herself. She always looks so tense. And even if, if there's like, like a football match and she's like cheering for, for the German national team, it looks like she's cramping up inside. It's like, I have to celebrate. You get a little cramp. <laughs> wow. That's, that's unfortunate. Also, also her face. is She's like, oh, seriously, guys, look at pictures of Merkel and look at pictures of the grumpy cat. <laughs> She's the human personification of Grumpy Cat? I swear. She's or maybe like this. Grumpy Cat is the cat version of Angela Merkel. Oh, wow. it's, it, it's It's totally, totally like this. She's like the, she's, it's the reborn uh, Angela Merkel. In the future, Angela Merkel will, turn, will travel back in time and turn into a Grumpy Cat. Where is John Connor? Have you and seen then, this boy? Jeez. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. Yeah, what 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 if we bring together the Grumpy Cat and Angela Merkel in one room? Will the universe collapse on itself? Do you think it. she's seen a picture of Grumpy Cat yet? <laughs> Maybe Angela Merkel is the one thing Grumpy Cat likes. Hey, I completed I've completed so many subquests for this monster. I'm gonna be sad like, when I cause oh, failure rest of the main. Oh, um, rare foot like, is no, I, actually like, not rare at all. Right into that, like I saw it coming. I'm like, you know what? High five, fireball. <laughs> <laughs> High five, whack me in your no. You can't do goodness. anything about it. Hug it. Hug it. You, you're like, you're like, you think you're like, I'm, I'm like Neo in Matrix. I'm just gonna approach this bullet and say no. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna walk right through that. <laughs> and and it didn't work out. Didn't not not quite like I thought it would. We don't have to capture her, do we? No. no this is a kill, kill quest, yeah. Oh, well, she's limping I now. I forgot how to transform. I, I'm just pressing buttons at this point. Oh, she's she's limping. Hmm, but I don't have, a, don't have a trap. I will kill. Who has will kill. the easy flashbulb? I will exterminate. So, in, in the, uh, the stream chat right now is the unfortunate conversation of, I wish that... Monster Hunter Try Ultimate was coming out for a system that I don't own that I could own, but it should be on a different system that I thought about buying rather than the one I'm going to buy. All right, so so what if oh, they man. did that? What if Nintendo's like, you know what, we're going to release Monster Hunter Try. Capcom, oh, right. Well, well, Nintendo is the publisher, but you're right. Capcom, Capcom's the one. All right, Capcom's like, okay, we're going to get Monster Hunter on the most owned system in the world right now, or the most played, the best producing system ever and they Xbox decide that they're going to release it on the nintendo ds Lite. yeah <laughs> what are you going to do then 
<laughs> you happy yes. now, fans? That's true. Everyone That's true, has yeah. one. Everyone can play it. But are we better for it, really? You don't want to push the envelope that little? No. That the funny thing is that nobody wants it. Nintendo doesn't even want that because, like, that wouldn't sell more DS lights. Yeah. No. Or no. And I know, don't. There's I like mean, no reason oh God. for it. Okay. This. Enjoy the feast. Raytheon, you guys better oh, hurt her enough to get her off me, because I'm not, I'm not oh, wiggling. Weapon sharp has decreased. I refuse to wiggle. Okay, I'm gonna Thanks, wiggle. Gonna wiggle. Kristen. Gonna wiggle. Gonna wiggle. Thanks, gonna wiggle. Gonna wiggle. Gonna wiggle. Gonna wiggle. Gonna wiggle. What did I hit you accidentally? Dude. That's like real life. I'm like, you guys were supposed piece. to get her off me. R.I.P. <laughs> oh, I, th- I think there, there is a shiny. I think it's a, it's, it's a shepherd's tear. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like waiting. Like, I'm All like, right. I've got, I've got full faith in my teamwork. Uh, friends here. They're, they're going to get this Raytheon off. They know how to do it. My sharpness uh, decreased. But the, the thing that gets me are the people who are like, this should come out for a Sony system. I'm like, doesn't the Vita cost as much as a Wii U? No, it costs less. Yeah. yeah I, no, you can get the, the Vita actually for very cheap now. I mean, you can get it for $170 yeah, no. <laughs> on sale. I mean, the thing, I mean, they're practically giving the Vita away. I mean, with yeah. the PlayStation Plus membership, like, it's like... But. You can get barely anything to get a whole bunch of games. And well, you get the games, yeah. But, you, you know, the memory card costs oh, like the memory card is very expensive. Okay, that is true. I spent like 40 bucks on a memory card. The memory cards are just ridiculous. Hey, it's just amazing. Dads, it's like, yeah. Should we capture? Yeah. Yeah. We have the chance at this we, point. Do we have a, a even a, like a... I, I just put do down a trap. Like, trap. One of those it. traps that everybody keeps talking about that we should use. Oh, hey, I got I got a plate, guys. You did it. Nice. Now wow. you can make Everything the sigling. Worth it. Everything was worth it. I carved No, plate. I'm going to make the Raytheon armor. That's what I'm going to do. Where did you get the tail, anyway? Where's the tail? I yeah. got it from a uh, shiny drum. Oh, man, you're so lucky. So lucky. Oh. Yeah, there's a, there's there is like this special kind of person that always complains about 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 this, and it's like, what? It's I don't really know what. Like, yeah, that that but that does, just doesn't happen, right? It's just not the reality right now. Yeah. Well, it's always and there's a, nothing I mean, you can do make about sure it's this. For the system that they own, right? You know, and yeah. I can understand that. It's like you know, the Wii U is of course extremely new, and the Nintendo 3DS doesn't yet quite have the backing or clout behind it, and the 3D is great for some people and kind of a useless gimmick for others. And I can understand the hesitation behind it, but the 3DS XL is supposed to be great. I'm just waiting to get one of those when there's a, uh, a case that I actually enjoy. But, um, I don't know. My and, wife loves and also, the 3DS. One, one thing I, I wanted to mention, because um, it was actually a, um, a topic on, on Cap Community recently, like how to bring new people into Monster Hunter. And, you know, you, Shepard, know about this, you know. The Wii U is actually a very inter- has a lot to offer for Monster Hunter. Oh, it's a lot perfect. To, a, lot, a lot to offer to bring new players into Monster Hunter. Yeah, I mean, you know, you've got a question, like, I can't beat a Jaggy. How do I yeah. kill the Jaggy? And you'll have, like, 20 to 30 answers on that one post right up there. So yeah, and you can even just, you the... just hit, hit, hit the home button, go over to the Me channel of, of Monster Hunter and say, guys... I'm trying to create this Switch X, and I need uh, some kind of weird mm, uh, alloy. I have no idea where to get this from. Where do I get this? And like in, in seconds, somebody answers, Oh, I need to go to the swamp, and there's like a gathering spot in, in Area 4. And, you know, that's the kind of help that otherwise you would need to go, go like on game facts and, and, and browse some weird wikis which are totally broken on your browser and, and you know we were very frustrated and now you can do it like without even leaving the game technically without yeah, even closing the game as perfect and as beautiful as the teamworkcast.com website is mm-hmm. there'll be some people the, the f- few minority that may not hear of it when it comes to grouping i mean for pickup play it should be great be like hey i'm in you know valor 8 to 27 come in let's play and like you'll get people piling in of course, this kind of grouping will be like vastly inferior to oh. the kind of stuff you will. Yeah, get well, I mean, you know, if you want to, you know, group with the the dregs of the universe that don't have G rank armor. Alat, please. Need urgent. Alat, please. Alat, urgent, please. Alat, urgent, <laughs> urgent. Need urgent, urgent. Uh, funny enough, like the Elatrian uh, grinding quests are not really very successful on on the hunting party thing. <laughs> so they don't work out so well. You know, what would be really, really funny is. For we can assume that for Trultimate, there's going to be like another barrier quest at the very end. We oh. can offer like clinics 
on that one quest and just like pass people through like they're influenza victims. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like, awesome. like, coming through, you diseased masses. We'll beat your urgent. Now come on, now now join the rest oh, of yeah, us. Oh yeah, I would totally, I would totally help out. I will need to do one of the Ledger quests at some point and read some Ledger and stuff, but yeah. Um, I wanted to say something. Yeah, I just wanted to wrap it up. Yeah, Wii U is, is it, there is a good reason to have the um, the game on the Wii U. Uh, and I, I personally, I totally under, underestimated it. I thought like, yeah, whatever. They have like some weird, um, like like Twitter uh, uh, copy on it. But once you start using it, the first time you get actually a tip from somebody on this game, where you can actually use it to ask something, and somebody answers you immediately, you just totally get it. You're like. Oh Jesus! This this changes everything. It's it's really that impressive once it actually works. Like if you t- if you just listen to this and 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 you um, you know it doesn't maybe maybe not doesn't sound impressive, but actually the experience of it um uh, is 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 significant. Trust us. I'm excited. Uh, I'm currently I guess saving for one since. I, I'm no longer like teaching this semester or anything, so oh. I don't have all of my extra money. So now I have to save for it again. So I'll, uh, I'm excited. Oh gosh, oh gosh! So this is the, this is going to be la- our last quest, a gathering quest a to gathering wrap up this quest. wonderful episode. In the tundra, oh, just the tundra? where you want it. Yes, Ice Ice Cool drinks, <laughs> uh, hot drinks, hot drinks. Uh, grabbing old pickaxes too. Let's see. It's a low rank quest, so it doesn't matter. Oh yeah, hot drinks. Oh yeah, that's all we can get from. Are there enough hot drinks for everybody? Yeah, <laughs> it's okay. I just want to make sure the guild hall like, has it covered. Sweet, like the, man, you're like so spoiled in low rank, aren't you? Yes. Hey, I, I almost died three times to those two loo drops. <laughs> Maybe you should get a set with actual skills. That was a very, very close call there, and Nick, I'm glad that we survived this. You know, the Wii U Pad XL would be amazing. It's just, it's just... your coffee table. <laughs> Co-op play, big... one person controls the analog, the other one controls the buttons. It's like the old Microsoft Surface, it's like the coffee table of interaction. 27 one more... inch. One more person for the touch screen. You just stand on it. And it's like the gigantic the keyboard gloves. from Big. And Tom Hanks running up oh, and down the keys. Oh, oh man! That same God. scene! <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, yeah! Just like in Big! <laughs> Just, just, just imagine the kind of stylus you use to press it. Uh, like you, you get like this huge, like, like, like a, like a, you just know, a tree trunk. <laughs> the only yeah, game yeah. people play on it is Twister. Ooh. <laughs> Like standing on it, yeah. but Christian, I mean, you can vouch for it. The, the pad isn't really all that uncomfortable at all. I mean, it, it, it no, looks it's like good. it's going to be like the worst thing ever created, but it's it's not. It's not it's bad. Good. I'm 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 happy with it. It's uh, I would really love to play it. Oh yeah, yeah. Except it's not it's not there. You broke it. I would love to actually finish um, um, a little Inferno. That game is something different. That's, that's it is really something like... different. I will I will give you that. It it really got its claws Shepherd into me. Shepard doesn't and like the subtlety. He doesn't like subtlety. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm, you, I'm, you, I'm you sitting there like looking art. for some way to min max, and it's all about just like making combinations. I'm like, all right, so how do I break this thing? It's Shepherd, like, why do you hate oh, art so much? Oh, this game is art. Ugh. Oh God, I hate <laughs> art. This this game is trolling you, and you don't like it. How dare you? This game's expressing something metaphorically. Forget it. Burning like, this ugh. game. Like smart stuff and stuff. <laughs> what <the> pretentious. <laughs> I, I give me some, give me something shallow and entertaining stuff, or something ironic at least. Gosh, yeah, I need more irony I, I, in my video games. I can expect a whole dose of irony in your game jam. Well, I guess it is irony. Oh, you're oh, yes, talking about jam. that. What? what the heck? Come on, get on it. The game jam. The game jam. Excellent, excellent segue. Gosh, I, we need to. We should high five at this point. <laughs> <laughs> right. So. So um, a lot of people are asking us always, or asking me especially, because I'm a game designer. Unlike you guys, you, you get regular folk hey, here. Hey. Ones, unable well. to program for <laughs> well, anything. Well, Patti is a game designer now too. Oh, so <laughs> I can write so, programs in Excel. 
Uh, so it? yeah, I... we're we're all game programmers. So wait a minute. So um, people, a lot of people are asking us how to get into game development, how to start up with game development. A lot of people have like game ideas, but they don't don't know how to make them real. Here is an opportunity, guys. There is this thing coming up called the Global Game Jam, which is like the last weekend on January, where people all around all around the world meet, like in different locations all around the world, and just get together and make a game in forty eight hours. That's the goal. And forty, you have forty-eight hours, and that's the limit for you to make a game. So um, that's actually a great opportunity to learn how to make games or to meet people who know how to make games. So if you're interested in making games, you should go on globalgamejam.org. I guess is the website. I think that's the website. Yeah, they can also or they can find Google. it through the IGDA as well. Yeah, just just Google Google Global Game Jam and you will get it. And you should see if maybe there is like one of those events uh, near you. Even if you don't participate in this, like f- the whole forty eight hours, just go there and and see what's going on. Like like you know, just meet those people, say hi, because um, I will be actually hosting uh, or like helping to host one of those events in Cologne, which is at a location called Cologne Game Lab. And we did this like for the last two or three years now, and it's been really, really amazing. We have like usually like at least twenty to thirty people like in, locked in the room for forty-eight hours and making games. It smells, I imagine, like a board game store. By the time oh. it's a, it's a oh. pretty large room. It's a pretty oh. large room. No. And the thing is, no. <laughs> we're right? also like, like in energy drinks. That's what it smells. Yeah, like. yeah, yeah. So we're like, like unwashed body nerd. Well, (laughs) untrimmed body hair. At Uh, at least last year, I I, I started to to for me personally. For me personally, I started to incorporate like a policy of actually going to sleep and washing myself. I found Giganox. What a uh, what an innovative uh, idea! That is innovative. It 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 works out. You need to kind of curb down your uh, ambition for for what the game should should be, but but that's something you should do anyway. It's kind of very hard to make a game forty eight hours. But again, you know, um, you get like very quickly into teams of people. Get very quickly in with with people who know how to make games. You learn games very quickly, and it's actually not very difficult to learn how to make a game once you start doing it. So Patty had this experience where um, there is this program called Renpy. That game's that, that, that thing's amazing. It's really amazing, isn't it? Yeah. It's so. What is it? It's like a. It's like a. I guess it's like a development developing engine for for visual novels. R- visual novels. Yeah. So it's stuff like analog. Um, a hate Fre- story. Yes, or maybe like Phoenix Wright even. Yeah, Phoenix Wright is a very good example. Nine nine nine. Nine 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 is also yes. Yeah. Excellent. Yes. So you can make like this kind of very very discussion, like conversation heavy Japanese uh, multiple choice dialogue kind of stories, and it's so easy. Yes, it's like the easiest programming language ever. You just start pr- writing the script, and the game immediately interprets this as as content. Oh, it's man. it's just it's just amazing. It's just it's so much focused on the writing. Oh, man, this is not good. You it's not probably good. shouldn't try to fight Giganox. I'm, but I, you said I, you found Giganox. Do we have that meant to, you found? to fight Giganox? No, no is that something we need? Oh, I don't okay. back down from a fight. Uh. Well, you're gonna well, die, so yeah. you'll have to. Shepherd. <laughs> that's yeah. That's my. Uh. Wait a minute. There is a. I see an ore. I'm gonna. That's that's a good spot to mine ore, right? Come at me, like, Right Giganox. in front of the Giganox. Come on, I'm gonna kill your babies. Uh, uh, what, your what babies are, are dead He's... now, Giganox. What are you gonna do about it? Roar. Kill you. Look, you need to just you need to just be be um yeah that worked. Look, look, oh, wait a minute. he's I've there got over no me, ICCM right? I don't see him at all. All right, come on. I'm if you don't come, I'm gonna kill another he of your children. He says he gets one. Nice. Mm. Uh, okay, okay, I got it. No, <laughs> I almost got away with it. <laughs> oh gosh, oh gosh. Nick, you need to see this. You need to show this from my perspective. That was kind of amazing. Just saying. Yes, so uh, for example, you can just use Renpy on, on those 48 hour things to just make this wonderful game about, I don't know, about. What did you make it a game about? About uh, Zizek? Uh, a romance uh, I, novel about I'm Zizek? Currently, I was looking through uh, free sprites yesterday, mm-hmm. and then I was looking at uh, pay sprites on the Japanese, because it's a. Uh, the, there's a bunch of Japanese people who are really into this, so they make sprites, but they're all porn. 
So, of oh, course, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, visual novels, yeah, poor? visual yeah. novels, and yeah. and erotic uh, visual erotic novels is kind of like yeah. a very, very common thing to do. Yes, and, and so I, I'm not going to use any of those, I guess. Yeah, and uh, I guess. <laughs> so. But but if it involves Zizek, why not? I know it, he loves Bertolt Brecht, so yeah, you gotta, you just gotta get into that. That would be amazing, Bertolt Brecht, because Bertolt Brecht was also kind of like a very um, crude man. I would. Uh, he's, he's yeah. He was quite crass. Yeah. It, but he believed the way to get uh, the public to understand complex ideas is by being very crude about them. Yeah. So yeah. and also was very mean to women as well. So that yeah. he wasn't very nice. Well, Shijek's not exactly nice to women. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it's yeah. So anyway, well, he's from Russia, so that's normal. <laughs> well, gosh, we're just being racist, misogynist, like everything at once. Yeah. I refuse to let the Giganox win. <laughs> no. Giganox will win. <laughs> Giganox will win in the end. We, we gotta we be in rage mode. We can do this getting Giganox. I well, now even he's mad. didn't get got hit too much. Giganox okay, now mad. I'm mad. Giganox is so mad. He's mad. He plays with Giganox so mad. Christian. Because we kill his children. I Christian. crushed his egg sack right in front of him. You crushed, uh, <laughs> you crushed his scoop. How huh? do you like this? Squish! I like how at the beginning of the quest you were concerned about hot drinks. But you have yet to drink one, Christian. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Uh, I'm just gonna exit this room and fix this problem right now. I, I knew that there was a problem. Okay, I'm. I oh, think. Gosh, okay, this... okay. I'm gonna put this out there. People are asking Is there a relationship between the Giganox and the Keizu? And what I think is, what I think are... is that the Giganox and the Gypseros huh. have mated. Huh. Somehow. And that's who came the, first. The, the, are the Keizu and the, uh, Keizu and the uh, Gypseros, Gypseros. mated? Gypseros. And that's what they what had Giganox. to reproduce together. I thought that was how that worked. It, it could they... be maybe the Keizu ate the, the, the Gypseros, you know? But Keizu but, is... But, but, a but hermaphrodite is... that self fertilizes. I know, but he also. Oh, oh is Kezu, uh, Giganox? Uh, nine, no, the Giganox. Yes, Giganox is here. So, uh, what what happened to um, Gypseros head lant lantern thing? Uh, obviously, Gobble is somehow involved. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh, dirty. I don't know what happened there, but it's terrifying. I think eventually what we're going to find out is that Monster Hunter is the world that exists after Dr. Wily 1. <laughs> <laughs> are these so, all robots? Yeah, these are actually all robots, and he just keeps combining them into... And if uh, they're robots, why aren't we carving, like, gears? Because we're, they're, we're he, getting... they're organic now. And maybe, we make that's weapons what... out of them. <laughs> yes. So wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. So Metal Gear Solid is basically like a prequel. Yeah. Yeah. The Man, Shackle guys, hard. I feel so immersed in this uh -oh. world right now. Show no fear! <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, I'm, I'm, I'm like poisoned and everything. No! <laughs> Fate! It was inevitable. No! Shepard finally, gosh. finally Look, made That was a good like five minute duel with the Giganox. You did I've well, you did well. Now I need to step in. Uh, do we do we really want to take him on? It's of course we do. Turn no. to shine. Okay. Everybody, we, we we already started it. That's the problem, Shepard. You started it. Now you need to finish it. What's the it. actual what? purpose of this quest? 13 bloodstones? <laughs> Deliver bloodstones. How we many do have I have? Some. Uh, I have eight. I have Look, ten. Look, I'm, I'm doing well. I'm, I'm like switch axing his, this guy. To no, I know. Awesome. We, we can do it. <laughs> you uh, should get an upgrade for that weapon. I did. I, I need to upgrade it's, this it's thing. A, I it's need a second more stage weapon. You. I'm not bouncing. What are you talking about? You lying. are bouncing. <laughs> and I'm not bouncing at all. That's a normal way of Switch X works, right? Uh. It has like this weird attack that where it goes back and forth in a little bit. Jeez. No, but you're, you, you have, have no. ESP on the sword mode, but you're still bouncing. Oh, rage mode. Oh. Oh, I'm going to sleep. Nice. <sighs> Christian, they say oh. that your laugh cures uh, baldness. Cancer? It may very well be. That's why I'm laughing so much. <laughs> you know, that's that's also. I, have you ever thought about this? Like people who claim they have like healing powers, hidden powers. 
healing powers. Oh, healing they, powers. they say like I can heal people by just by touching them. So I wonder like always like so why do you take money for this? Yeah. Like, like, what kind of <laughs> is just to say? I just, I just said this. You know, what kind of, what, what kind, kind of? of after? Uh, it's powered. After, uh, it's powered by money. Yeah, like, like, what? Why? Why aren't you just maybe? Why don't you become a, a get a, like a doctor's license and get like you know because you could, could tap into like the health system because that's something that maybe the insurance will pay, you know. Mm. Why are you, are you charging people directly? That's like kind of like a very mean thing to do. Like, you are going to die unless you pay me money. Screaming? Screaming! I delivered my eight. If somebody wants to deliver five. We're going to <laughs> deliver the head of a Giganox. Because, because you think about it, you know, if, if I, I had the ability to, to heal people by touching, I would just go to, to like a... Um, to like a hospital and just touch everybody there. <laughs> Ooh, that's a uh, in a country <laughs> like the United States that wouldn't fly. It, it would be quite inappropriate, but you know, next day everybody's releasing uh, them. I'd be like totally in the die. news. Really? And imagine like, oops, you're not gonna <laughs> die. Shepard, you need uh, you need to deliver your bloodstream. I should have been dr I should have been uh, drinking potions rather than eating bitter bugs. I was really hoping yeah. one of them was going to cure my poison. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Shepard, I'm, go I'm gonna I'm gonna do a, like a, a tutorial video on how to drink potions, <laughs> and I'm gonna upload it to, to teamwork. Maybe you Guys, can watch this. Let me, let me read the description for bitter bug. Eating it boosts your innate ability to heal. It also cures poison. Sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes. Uh, Sometimes. Yeah. Are you guys fighting? the Giganox in here? I'm leaving. Hello. No. It's, it's a little bit dark. We need yeah. your sword. No. We... I, I, I'm gonna you go find... Uh -oh. banana. Uh -oh. I'm gonna go find five more bloodstones before you guys die. But, buddy, you know you can't get blood <laughs> from on. the stone. I haven't, I haven't died even once now. I don't know. We're gonna be fine. Gonna be so you think I'm gonna die again? Uh, I, I think well, actually think... Bacon's gonna die. No, I have well, potions. Can, that, that would never happen. I've got eight prepared. potions. I can do this. The, the Come on, Digging Ox, not me again! The stream is yelling at else. me to take rations. I, I should have taken rations. How about the stream yells at you to be a man? Man yeah. up! Don't, don't pay attention to stream. the stream! Use Tell the force! Him. Come on. Look, I did Luke both turned off the stream. <laughs> They're like, hey, you guys are gonna fail that gathering quest. And you know what? <laughs> I think they're right. <laughs> no, no way this is going We're to happen. We're gonna have glorious victory. I'm so dedicated victory. right now. Oh man, these, these guys Come are gonna on, be Giganox. like, wow, yeah. those guys aced this game gathering quest so Ace. much. Ace, Ace. Man, you're gonna be like, we're gonna set the standard for gathering quests. I, I hope you guys, <laughs> guys are right. Broke Something broke face. there. Good job, Bacon. Good job. I don't Bless think you, you. Broke. No, I broke his I, face. I saw his particles flying off of it. I, I need to me. transform the switch X and oh, everything's going man, to be awesome. Oh, man, he did some hard damage there. Everything's oh, bouncing. God. I don't care even now. Okay. You're getting some real bloodlust right now. Okay, is yeah, that a rage mode again? doesn't even affect me. That's right, Giganox. Yeah, it's raging. Okay, it's raging again. Now for how, some How many rage modes do we have left? <laughs> Who knows? Uh, probably. Too many. Two or three more. Wait, I you guys, have used all my rations. You keep. I have raw meat left. You, you keep uh, things when a quest fails, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh man, I'm coming to die right now. <laughs> I need more ICs here. <laughs> I did both sub quests. <laughs> I did my part. Come on, Giganox. Come on, Giganox. This is so intense right now. This is such a finale for this quest. <laughs> uh, I'm glad I'm not there. That's all I'm saying. Have we killed a Giganox yet? No. Not with these characters. They're not available yet. Huh. So They're this is so right important now. right now. Oh god, that's a lot of damage. <laughs> oh god. Choose life. Choose life yeah. over Giganox. Choose life. Choose a new washing machine. Choose a new IKEA. Oh. No, I, no, I'm being eaten. I'm being eaten, <laughs> guys. I'm being eaten. Oh no. gosh, I'm being eaten. I'm on it. Oh, <laughs> sweet, sweet teamwork. Oh gosh, this is so amazing. <laughs> He's exhausted. So oh gosh, he's exhausted. Right there, attack right now. Yeah, okay, we're gonna I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna get him my out. Switch X. It's coming. How do I transform the switch X? No. Transform. <laughs> oh my face! The out. switch. I broke the tail. Uh, <laughs> yes. Gotta be pretty careful right now. Uh, the switch X won't transform. I think I need to reload it or something. I'm not really sure. Gosh, why does this stupid weapon work? I'm pressing R2 and then pressing X, right? What? 
How do you how do you transform? Just R one. <laughs> Autobot. Autobot. Ah. Roll I, out. I thought R one and something. Okay, Roll got this. Out. That was to draw into sword mode. Ah, uh, see. There are That's rations good. here. Oh, I gotta deliver. Where? Where? Yeah, there good we work. go. Oh, uh, maybe I should come back then. Oh no. Oh, I, she's on the ground. Nice. I'm taking them. Charge. Because everyone's yelling at me to use rations, so I'm doing what they ask me to do. <laughs> they think you're having a little too much fun, Christian. This a little, what? a little this is super never exciting, have too man. Much fun. A little. You're how can you have too much fun? I know, but but I will I will just beat her to death with my blunt edge. Yeah. Oh gosh, my my sword needs some sharpening. Your uh, my my hammer needs sharpening. I have I some whetstones with me if you need them. Uh yeah, well I'm gonna keep going crazy, but once. Once she's running away, I'll, I'll gladly take, take some. Uh-oh, she's on the wall. Actually, now, now is probably a good time. Can I take uh, two of them? You want two? Where are you? Right, right next to you. I feel your heartbeat. Come on, 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 come on! Got it, get it, get it, get it! Uh-oh. Sweet! Gosh, this is uh, such intense. I never had uh, said item transfer this. I intense. like how you're you're giving the stream the absolute best view <laughs> of us fighting this Giganox by running around aimlessly in the tundra. <laughs> hey guys, I just, oh gosh, she's she's raging again. I'm just stopping by. How many briefly. rage mode? I, gosh, she must she must. This must be like the final rage right now. The final rage quit. Giganox. The final I need to go rage cook down. some steak. I need some ice stamina. So bad. I've gotten bring two you on so with, far. with me, okay? Because I'm I'm like running out of stamina right now. Okay, come here. I have steak for everyone. Okay. Oh, great. Okay, I'm going I'm going to get the steak while she's raging. Out. I need to kill a Giganox. Is what I need to do. Ah. Uh, you gonna do it alone? Uh, <laughs> no. I need leather armor. It's really hard. Sweet double steaks. Oh man, now we're cooking with fire. Who's here? Oh, Nick, you're finally here for some support. Nope. No, he's coming in, <laughs> leaving. Uh, I'm trying. I'm looking to see what all uh, veins have. Jesus, Nixella. Nixella has here like a real grill going on. Heck? Come on, Shepard, so get it's out! Like, the you... stream's like really excited. Like, yeah, finally, get into the fight, Nick. Get into the fight. <laughs> <laughs> he like runs right past the Giganox. Heck, run! <laughs> is what they're saying. Sweet. I don't want to be part of your, your, your system. My manliness. I don't, I don't need I'm not a part of this I, system. I'm an adult. I believe Happy in gender. birthday to oh, the no. ground. Whoa, no. <laughs> <laughs> so close. You give me a well done steak. Happy birthday to the ground. <laughs> what? <laughs> Happy <laughs> birthday to the ground. Have you saw uh, the the Lonely Island song? You haven't you haven't seen this, Nick, haven't you? Uh -uh. Oh man, you need to see this. My dad's not a cell phone. Uh oh, rage. Again? How much? This is like a rage queen. This this is like wow. She's really into it. Uh oh. Uh, last potion. I have more potions if you need them. It's okay. Yes, I have. I have. I've, I just drank one. You guys are insane. I'm just gonna wait and see if it like flips over. Iron pickaxe has broken. Oh gosh. What? Oh gosh. This is not good, guys. Uh, are there any rations left? MLG Pro, no engage. Why do you need are rations? There any rations? I gave left? you two well done steaks. No, 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 not rations. I mean, the, are there any um, first um, aid meds? First aid meds left, guys. It's Probably. not even living yet. I have two on me. You don't know that. She's living on the inside. Do you want <laughs> potions? On yeah, give me potions. Come on. Need potions. I've got. Let's see. Sweet, thank you. Yeah, like, I have, like a little trip, wow, like a little bazaar over there. <laughs> I've yeah, one blood this. I'm causing the Giganox to flinch. I need three more. Sweet, three more blood Here, stones. let me provide support. Sweet bacon. Yes, light. Oh gosh, this uh. is this is such teamwork. I'm I'm so excited about this. This is like the the very definition of the what the podcast is all about. <laughs> yeah, this, this, this what we just. Do. Attempting crazy things while trying not to be completely obliterated and doing so with the power of teamwork. I'm going to destroy this egg sack Wait, before oh yeah, I think we're getting close to another KO. Do I have? Yes. Alright, I'm going to get green sharpness. 
Wait. Because that's the, what the cool things uh, people are doing. Where did I miss? Am I missing a mining point in here? I think you're missing the Giganox. It's in area four, in case you didn't ah, know. there's one. It's, it's a well-lit area, Nick, right now. It's not even scary. Well, I, that, you know, I have to say that from a distance, the switch axe almost looks like a, a potentially usable weapon. From a distance. From a distance. Imagine yeah. all the people using Switch X and Harmony. Yeah. Oh, maybe that's a yeah, just yeah, is a limping. A dream the limping, limping is happening. Pink. Nick, she's limping. Is she huh? limping? Yeah, is that she's enough limping. For you? Is, is that a reason enough for you to come back and join our cause? You know, we could of use teamwork. a uh, level three great sword charge to her face. You have a giggy on you. I don't have a giggy on me anymore. I'm just trying to get these armor spheres, these iron ores. I keep hoping that this will be a bloodstone, but it's You have not. a giggy on you. I have a giggy on me again. There's three around me. Oh, one's become a big giggy. Uh-oh. He's going to spit poison at you. So do you want to maybe revenge for this giggy that is hanging on you? You know, you, we, we are at the source. Uh, you're, oh, you are at the source? We are the source of this plague. She's coming down on two guys. Whoa. What? Alright, alright. Oh, right. she, she's shouting, she's getting mad again. It's the final mad down. It's madness. This is teamwork! <laughs> <laughs> this is teamwork! Oh gosh, I've been I've been poisoned. I need to depoison myself. Thankfully, I have eight antidotes oh. with me. Woo. Wow, is it really out here? Yeah, yeah it's kind of weird. She comes here to occasionally to eat. This is where she usually goes to eat. No, she goes. No, to she eats the eats bone eats piles. Oh gosh, I need, uh, I need to find out. How do I draw with with what is this? It's oh, R X and A, I think. Yes, it worked. No, it didn't work. Oh gosh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. I accidentally walked Our into X and the poison. A together. Yeah. Yes. Sweet. Yes, it is. Ha, got it. Guys, you might remember this this uh, this little tune. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't think that. Three sixty no skull. <laughs> Uh, that, is, that was the no song he was singing the entire train song. Or no, at the end of when we were at the train level. Okay. So is is the train sleep. level uploaded? Alright, we gotta great sort his face. Alright, that's the plan. I need to release the train video because that video oh, is gosh. amazing. The, the, the paintball has, has worn off. But I think he sleeps we need in to seven, right? Five. I think she's in seven, yeah. So why are they. Why are you guys going. <laughs> it's five. Free. It's five, not seven. It's five? Are There's you sure? a five yeah, yeah, she okay. What is Zach Fair sending me? <laughs> oh. <laughs> they sent me the throw it on the ground. So. Yeah, you should need to watch this. <laughs> uh, can we get lights here? Uh, do you have some any more lights, Bacon? Don't wake her up. Where is she? Over here. I Where went the wrong way. I'm not going to rage anymore. I'm going to come and shadow box the Nox. I'm not part of this system. Gosh, this is this is this is the we haven't we haven't had like this tense quest in a while now. <laughs> We're going to reach I, I, an hour. It's like, hey guys, you you have 10 minutes to to finish this quest. We did it. Yeah! Yeah! Yes! I was here the whole time, guys. <laughs> Sweet! <laughs> Who said it couldn't Sweet. be done? Uh, Who nice said it couldn't be done? done impossible. No, I said he would kill you. Uh, well, that and was I was true. right. You, people said it's twice, going to be impossible. More than once. You're, you're, you're but we proved them wrong. I've gotten 21 now, Earth Crystals this run. That's crazy. You'll need them for a rush. You know what would, be, what would be really funny? If one of us died now. Which was something <laughs> like really like stupid. Like a gig -y. That, <laughs> that yeah. Kristen has on right now. <laughs> like all the giggies that are attached to me right now if they like suck me dry. Well, somebody go, you need, like, two more. Ooh, I got an armor sphere plus. That's great. I'm busy two mining. Watt. You, you don't even you need, need to mine watt. anymore. No, I'm, yeah, we I'm have busy everything. mining. Oh. 
Whoa. Yeah, so Qu- someone else was mining the entire game. Maybe, maybe it should be <laughs> you. Yeah, said, I, I can. Uh, you shouldn't carve, Nick. It's like, no, I'm carving. I can totally deliver the blood. That's a shameful. Like, should I? That's a shameful hunter. I, I have no shame. I'm gonna carve. If I could have noob carved, I would have run in, noob carved, and left. Yeah, I, I totally support the strategy. <laughs> no, <laughs> you're Nick, teaching you, you, I got them you bad. back. I, you know that's that's a teamwork thing to do. No matter what, what, how, how, how much of a um, scumbag team <laughs> teammate you have, you just have them back. You're, yeah, no problem, bro. You're coming in and you have no no Skype, no problem, bro. I got your back. I got you. You have no, you're not G rank, whatever. Like the worst thing is just not appearing. Like that's that's you you cannot back this up, right? Like yeah. Wait a minute, what? There's and no I like, in team. Yeah, there's well there is, and it's in the middle of the A hole. There Ooh. is an I. Oh god, in there's meat another Giganox. Ooh. Oh god. Is, is, there, is there an I in, in are you teamwork? Are you kidding wait, me? Wait, is there wait, really wait, another wait, wait, <laughs> Hold on. No, don't don't finish the quest. I gotta see this. <laughs> Time to do it all over again. Yeah, it there's another on one. Me. Oh my god! No way! No way! Oh, no, no, is there really one. another? Yes, yep. there's another one. Yep. I almost died. Are, nobody are going said to, there would are we going be to two. This? <laughs> are we going to do this, guys? Are, are we? I have one first aid potion and no whetstones left. <laughs> I've got whetstones. Yeah, okay. <laughs> sorry guys. I'm. I'm oh. Yes. That was too oh, intense. God. I don't back down from a fight. No. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, has a chance. We're invincible. Oh man, this was such an intense quest. <laughs> I I feel like I've been wrestling, wrestling a uh, or- orangutan for for the last hour or so. Wow, I'm spent, guys. How about we wrap up this podcast? I think I don't think we can end it on a higher note. Oh, than that. Well, yeah. I think we're going to see and, and everything yeah. else. For Who would have thought that a mere <laughs> gathering quest would provide so much Uncanny entertainment? Nice. <laughs> wow, so much stuff! Ooh, like a hey, I got a fierce wow. amount. In fact, I got yeah, that's great. Barbecue plus that's three, cool. yes. So much carbs. Right, uh, so, um, yes, um, we have a very s- simple and easy ping for today, which is just one website you need to visit. It's called teamworkcast.com. That's it. Simplify your ding. life. Yes, very easy, teamworkcast.com indeed. Um, of course, we are also on YouTube as well, on youtube.com uh, slash teamworkcast. That's also something you might want to check out. And all those channels... You find also some amazing videos right now. Of course, we already mentioned um, the uh, Hunting with Friends podcast, which you should check out. Um, we also mentioned Nick. What is the new Last Planet episode? Is that the train episode now? Hey, it's the train episode. It's episode twenty-one. Jesus, it, the train episode. It may be longer than the entire rest of the series combined. Yeah, <laughs> it is. It is a one-hour episode. You, it, 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 it has been teased a little bit uh, in the last episode with a, a soundtrack of the Doors, <laughs> and people have been confused, confused about it. Like, why the Doors? Like, huh? Nobody's seen Apocalypse Now. I don't understand. Um, well, they, they not? They don't. They they they, they haven't grown up with the um, um, with the um, uh, what's it called? How's the war called? Uh, Vietnam War. <laughs> Vietnam War, um, you know, they are not really familiar maybe with this idea. But yes, it is our Vietnam War, so to speak. It is a one-hour struggle in the most epic level of Lost Planet 2. If you are not watching this, then you're clearly doing something wrong. Yes. It is It is amazing. We tried to cut this down. We tried to... I, I said to Nick, Nick, just take the parts that are not funny or not interesting and just, you know, cut them out. And Nick said, there are no not funny. <laughs> and <laughs> Like, what you're talking about? Like, I, everything is pure I, gold. I think people just needed to come along with us on this horrible ride of, oh my god, this train level... <laughs> <laughs> it it is it is a exploration into the heart of darkness. Yes, yes. it is. It is a tray. The best thing is, you, I would advise you to take like a strip of tape and cover up like the slider, so you don't know how long the podcast t- <laughs> takes. <laughs> because that's that's how we felt recording this. It was amazing. It was it was basically like this what we seen to, today, but it was like oh, I don't know. It was it's amazing. You have to watch this. It's episode twenty two, right? Twenty one. Which one is it, Nick? Uh, it's 21. 
21. Yes, 21. You need to check this out. Yes. So what else? Yes, I wanted to also mention uh, we've received like incredibly, we're surprised by this. We received incredibly generous donations on our uh, new website on teamworkcast.com. Something that you can do when you click on your profile. We Right now it's a little bit hidden because we haven't like activated uh, ads for it yet. So that doesn't really make sense to activate it like very prominently. But uh, people uh, still donated a lot of um, a lot of um, uh, funds. To us and ha- even helped us already funding for example the uh, minecraft server uh, which you know there was um, there was something due so we paid it from the money we received from estimations and that was really helpful for us and we would like to say thank you for everybody who donated i even have brought up like the what? list of everybody who donated yes really. what's going on with the bacon what's bacon he's doing? running around the table how he's is excited. bacon doing that he's wow that's amazing he's excited about the donations do you, do, he looks like he's still dancing on my screen. Bacon dance. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's really crazy. Yeah, that's, that's what it looks to me, too. I'm going to drink coffee. I'm going to celebrate how this. How do you do that? How do you, how do you dance like that? It's, uh, you cannot dance like this. Passive skill that Bacon has. <laughs> okay. I never, I'm sorry for interrupting, Christian. Continue. No problem. No problem. So uh, we would like to thank Dark Vein, Barrioth, Klimbaku, the dad of uh, Dead Hunter, Paper Friend, Frinky, Orange Man Josh, a Rassy Dog, of course our Iceman Noob, Kanta Per Me, Silent Eagle, and the cool thing about the eagle, the E, the last E is like a three in this name. That's a, kind of like a very cool thing to do. Um, Jakatoma, Bjorgen especially for his very generous donation. No kidding. Um, Delta, I think he, I know him from Call of Duty. Oh! Uh, and uh, Rathlos Pup, Zombizo, Narzil, and Snipe Origin. Those people donated this, um, this week for the website and uh, they helped keeping this website alive. Awesome thing to do. Oh, yes. And one person we also wanted to point out because I kind of noticed Benster. Guys, have you noticed Benster? Yeah. Yes. Benster's the hero of the podcast, I think. It's the unsung hero. He's been holding up the the flag of Teamwork cast on like everywhere. Yeah. Everywhere you go. There's Benster. Yes. There's Benster. So, hey, by the way, social distance no longer social distance. Now Teamwork cast. You should visit them. It's like, wow, this guy's doing exactly what I wished somebody would be doing. Um, <laughs> If I was there. Yeah, so that was awesome. Anything else we should mention? Uh, I'm going to start try, try and start having meetups for Lost Planet 2, I think. Yes. And uh, I think maybe this week I'm going to try and start playing Frontier. Oh. So I may uh, record it. Good luck <laughs> with that. Yeah. I have a guide. It's a good guide. You should watch he, it. He, actually, it. the Hunting with Friends guy has a very nice yeah. guide that I was following the other day as I was Ooh, signing sweet. up. sweet. Is it is it on our channel or is it on their channel? Uh, it's on their channel, but once we do it, I might try and make a guide for us. Oh yeah, I don't that know. would be nice. Yes, sweet. Um, there's also one thing. Oh yes, you should also totally totally check out Team Orcast and uh, look in the hunting parties if you want to hunt with us. I will be posting a lot of uh, Monster Hunter Freedom Night hunting parties, and I wish would wish experienced fighters to join me in our our pursuit to get through G rank. <laughs> <laughs> and the importance, the importance of this song that you're hearing right now, that's like like wrapping its tendrils around your uh, around your brain right now, is something that will be revealed in our last planet's episode, in which you should. Uh, I'm gonna watch. release it right now. <laughs> you should. Why not? Is it is it already like the description and everything? Uh, and, uh, it doesn't have the description. I'm I'm gonna write it right now. Yeah, you, we need to generate right now. All right, so we're gonna wrap this up. We're gonna be back next week. Uh, we wish you good hut, good good hut. Cool. We wish you good hut. We wish uh, we wish you good uh, good hunt, uh, good luck, and remember worship the durian and respect the egg. Ah, uh, I need an egg. Give me an egg. I need a durian. Give me an Trevor. egg. Awesome. Give me a durian. Chris. Yeah. Give me an egg. Chris. Yeah. When I played right. that game and you get to the level that's filled with glass cages filled with liquors, my friend and I got stun rods, broke the glass, and then stunned, stun locked all of the liquors. Oh, really? Yeah. All right. It was the oh. best thing in the world.
Can you do and, that? And so you broke the game with stun rods? Uh, are stun rods that powerful? Yeah. All right. <laughs>